Yo, what's up guys? So we're going to be showcasing off a Time Thief Regulator FTK. This card is the source of a lot of crazy Yu-Gi-Oh combos. If you guys haven't seen the last previous videos, I'll pin them down below. You can pull off just this one card. You can make a board where your opponent cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh with just this one card. But we got to take it a step further every time uh, with our boy Time Thief Regulator. We're going to be pulling off an FTK with pretty much just one card. And I say pretty much... Because we, we needed the help of Beaver Warrior here. Not really, though. It's just another card. Uh, but, anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for White Strix. Go ahead and get that Zephyros over there. And we'll go ahead and also have Time Thief Hack up on board. So that makes it so exceed monsters you control can't be destroyed by opponent's card effects. And they cannot target them the turn that they are summoned. So you have a little bit of immunity to certain things. But we're going to go ahead and go for that Dragoonie card. Actually, summoning the Red Ice Darkness Metal Dragon over there. And we're going to go ahead and go for some of the guard dragons, making another copy of Sarajia. So this is something important. It is pretty much a one card FTK because you will go into Sarajia. Um, you just have to have the cards to actually cycle, if that makes sense. And in a normal game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's still a, technically a one card FTK because you're not going to start off the game with just one card, if that makes sense. So I will still consider this pretty much a, a one card FTK uh, because it just requires you to have like another a, a, any other... Uh, card because you'll cycle into it um, courtesy of, of course, Sir UJ because this card does let you happen go plus. Um, yeah, you can actually utilize a lot of other cards. Uh, it doesn't have to be a uh, card off of this. You could put Instant Fusion. There, there's a lot more options, but basically you Chronomaly Atlantis them uh, to put them at half of their life points. And then we're going to go ahead and Soul Shave Force and get out the Double Goose Off Maxis over here. And that is going to go ahead and be game. You do put yourself at 950, but you game your opponent. And that is really dirty, man. Pulling off an FTK with simply just one card. That Time Thief, man. Now, I know some of you guys want the deck profile. Don't actually put Beaver Warrior in here. It's just for the memes over there. My boy, Lamine, you made a pretty nasty deck indeed. Um, but anyways, uh, ours with the deck profile, so we have the Beaver Warrior, but you don't really need it, it's not necessary, but we've got Red Eyes, two Type Thieves Winders, two, uh, two copies of the Tribute Lanius, we've got two copies of Zephyros, uh, we have two copies of Vanishing Lanius, we have three copies of Mimicry, two copies of the Bezel Ship, three copies of the Necro Vulture, two copies of the Summoner Monk, we've got two copies of Time Thief Regulator, uh, then we get two copies of the Singing Lanius, two Ash, two copies of Phalanx, we have two copies of Pain Lanius, Lure, the Soul Shave Force, the Rank Up Magic Raid Force, two copies of Magical Mallet, two copies of the Called by the Grave, one copy of Time Thief Half, uh, Dragoonie Divine Lance, and then two copies of an Impermanence. Um, if you want to, you could probably put up more Allure of Darknesses because there's no limit on how many you can activate. So keep that in mind too. If you want to add more consistency, Obviously, Reload, Magical Mallet, those cards, you max out on those, max out on the Allure of Darknesses. Definitely max out, I'd say, in Called by the Grave, because you don't want to get Hand Trap, even though this card technically can protect you against a lot of things, especially uh, when you're going for your combos. But it makes the links a little bit more safe, because you do tactically need this effect, unless you have another one in hand, which you kind of can get away without actually utilizing this, but it just makes it much more consistent. But uh, for the extract, of course, two Gustav Maxis. We got the uh, Cannon Falcon, Arsenal Falcon, and then we've got the Chronomaly Atlantis to put them at half. Two copies of the Four Strikes, one copy of the Rebarian Shark, two copies of the Seruja, a Garpain, a Y Strix, Dragoonie Knight Link Monster, two copies of him, and the Guard Dragon LP. But, anyways, dude, this card keeps on getting more and more busted. I swear, dude, this card is just looking real spicy on that ban list. In fact, the OCG, if you guys didn't know, they're actually banning this card. So, I I'm not sure if it's for this one because um, some people were saying, like, it's Salamon Great, but, like, if you looked at the top OCG decks, they weren't even playing this. I don't know. Who knows if this card will get hit in the TCG, but uh, no, Konami, they'll be like, all right, this, this is the problem. Uh, ban Dragoon New Phalanx. <laughs> But, dude, this card is, it's just too insane, dude, it really is. And the fact that it also gives you this card, which can boost up your cards, it makes it so some of your monsters are more safe. Again, really nasty thing to run into. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to see more crazy Yu-Gi-Oh combos, like the one card FTK. This card, this is too good, man. But if you guys got any cool replays, feel free to always send them in to HNI's replays at gmail.com. But thanks for watching, and peace!